so welcome back to our shadow run filling game uh, ad hoc adventures where the uh, party has chosen to take on a few small jobs to make ends meet and uh, see where that will go so uh, I'll, I'll elaborate a little bit more on that later but we'll start off with introducing everyone and hopefully we still have a David with us me too would you like me to introduce that would be fantastic Hi, I'm David. I play one of many characters, all as abhorrent and uh, disruptive as the, the last one. I'm not crashing a road train right now. Um, I play Georgie, a uh, clone soldier who is, well, he didn't get all his training and he didn't get enough time, but uh, he made his way out of captivity with his good big old trolley friend. And is just doing his best to not kill everybody he sees because they're annoying. I'm sure that will go down well. Uh, and yeah, and he's, also, he's also seriously concerned about our newfound riches. <laughs> Next person up we have is uh, Jeremy. Uh, yes, good evening all. I'm playing uh, Dedrin Deadshot, the, uh, the, the savvy city elf that uh, dreams of be joining the ancients. And, and now he's and got now the he's funds got to the do so. To, to get him there. And besides, well, now he can afford the bike to get him there, one of the two. <laughs> uh, next one online we have is Martin. I'm playing a um, city dwarf primalist uh, druid uh, named Rakash. Um, I come from Sri Lanka um, and I got smuggled into Seattle. Um, and other than that, I'll wait and see what's going on. Also online, we have Ross. Yes, I'm playing the lovable character Womp, who's a ice cream fatuated troll that's a um, worshipper of the Ekithop from the BBC Pantheon. And best mate is Georgie. <laughs> and as, as I did also escape from a um, military slash magic research lab broke a couple of security guards on the way out but hey done in assuming they lived through the breaking uh well they didn't back up again so yeah. <laughs> also online depending on uh, uh whether they have food in front of them at the moment is uh m you know us too well. <laughs> we do indeed. Uh, I play Bob. I run a little fast. Um, I talk really fast. I do things really fast. Or at least I try to do things really fast. Last time I didn't want to talk, but I got paid to death. And then we had lots of long conversations with people. We didn't really go as quickly as we thought we wanted, but. Yeah, you know, you lose on, you lose on. But, but, now, uh, but now you've got plenty I, I of money to run. I'm getting my previous captors off my back. Yeah, so uh, one, one of the jobs will get you free. Uh, next person what? up is... Uh, Pay them off. Is Josh. Hello. Yeah, he's freedom. G'day, I'm Josh. I'm the vlogger. Vlogger. You're the vlog. Logan, I think Logan hates doors. Something, something, something. Fashion talk. Okay, so uh, to give everyone a recap, um, and especially for um, Ross, so um, he knows what's happening. So in no particular order, um, Bolt uh, managed to get uh, in trouble with the Crimson Crush, as you remember when you did your superhero landing. Uh, well, when uh, uh, Flogger tried to do the same thing on a person and it didn't quite come out the same. Uh, you've been given a retrieval job where you have to um, get a bunch of material from a research center 
um, run by Mitch Sahama Computer Technologies. And basically, you've got to break into a non uh, matrix server. So you've been given 50k each up front with 35 upon delivery and 15 extra if you can do it without sending off alarms and anyone noticing you've done it. So that one was a, a fairly um, a sweet job. Uh, then you have the next one on the list is uh, Desrin managed to find a Miss Johnson at a bar who's looking for a bunch of chump runners to do a job for them uh, who's obviously not got connections to any of the other players of Seattle which you guys fitted to a um, pip and you got 45k up front from them to return um, three chips if you can collect those chips, then you um, basically get paid the rest of the 45k. If you fail to get any of the chips, then you lose 15k per chip um, that you then have to pay them back. So uh, having money up front for that one is a risk for you guys. You don't really want to owe um, uh, Johnson's that much. So the uh, uh, next one up on the... Uh, thing is uh, Georgie managed to find out through his uh, friend uh, that helped him get out uh, that gave you guys the codes that there was a job on offer with the research facility that worked on uh, YouTube and so getting to that job you're, you're being paid 60k up front to go to the facility in Tacoma and uh, get the uh, uh, material out of there and down to the wharf. What the others don't is finding Nemo. What the others don't know is that um, Womp was approached beforehand while everyone else was busy. That uh, uh, he has been um, told that uh, someone he cares about um, very much. Uh, will be uh, executed if he doesn't give them the data instead. Uh, and uh, and basically, you were told this while the others were at, were accepting the run and taking the money. So they've already accepted the money for this run. Family member. So a, a sister or a brother that you deeply care about that didn't turn into a troll. Okay. Uh, so it's, it's not yeah. Yeah. But what um uh, you don't know when uh, you were told that uh, it, it 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 basically that they will be um, held and tortured until you complete the run. Uh, and if you fail to complete <laughs> So is this a rival company? Uh, you don't know. You don't actually have the details. You've just been told um, where you need to um, uh, data drop the um, material. Because it is a data steal. The only data I could actually steal is if there's a physical copy, I just rip the bloody thing out. <laughs> Well, you, you've now got to come up with some smarts to uh, figure out how to save your family member. Yes. Just because they decide to uh, blackmail someone who will not be particularly screwed at the job does not mean they don't want to complete it. And, uh, and, and from your side of the um, family, this is the only family member that uh, is willing to keep in contact with you. Oh, great. So if they die, that that's uh, your only connections with the family gone. Unlike your uncle, they're not the sort who'd set you up and would have caught up with you fairly regularly since you got out. Yeah. So uh, now, now, now you're up to speed. Uh, you are uh, on the up to the last of the runs where Flogger was. Uh, 
accepting a, a um, run suggested to him by Mr. Flogger, uh, which doesn't get him off his um, debt yet. It's just a uh, Mr. Flogger is putting a good word for him so he can get the skills up to actually do something for him. Where you have to um, protect someone for five days. And you're about to meet the contact, uh, Max Foley at Underworld 93, uh, a rocker club, where your whole job is bodyguarding. Is, is this the chief who's like changing company or signing a different yeah. uh, like song contract or something manager like that? Agreement. Oh, yeah, manager agreement. It is. And so what you find out when you reach the club is it's the person who's had uh, the top of the charts um, albums for the last five years is the person that you're protecting. Huh. Hmm. So um, imagine any um, uh, muso who just made the scene five years ago and you are... Um, uh, you, you believe you've just been hired to be uh, her bodyguard for five days. Mm. So, uh, walking into the uh, room, being heading by who you thought was uh, uh, your um, uh, Mr. Max, the Johnson who was supposed to have hired you, uh, you find out that, no, Max really is some uh, uh, 50-year-old uh, overweight, uh, tubby, uh, very overweight in the point that he's tubby, also short, and wearing um, clothes that uh, look like they'd sit better on someone 30 years long younger, so he's wearing uh, teenagerish um, gear. Uh, he's got uh, more than one ring on most of his fingers. And so he's a, he's a, he's a 50-year-old gift, though. And he's got enough gold and jewellery around his neck that uh, make um, him look like he's competing with Mr. T from the A-Team. Yep. Both for those who... The fool. And uh, not only that, he's smoking a fat greenish cigar. <laughs> he says, come on in, he says. Glad to meet you. I'm Max Foley. You're on time. Good, that's a mark of a pro. I mean, punctuality, am I right? Hey, can I get you guys anything? Asking if you'd like to have um, anything before you sit down. Well, okay. Uh, good, 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 good. You're going to take advantage of any offer of free alcohol, free drinks? Uh, he offers you free alcohol, uh, free drugs, uh, free um, weed, um, free... Uh, injections, uh, free. Uh, you can get back anything illegal that you'd find in a rock star's back room in the 80s. Uh, he's got it there. Um, what about a glass of vodka? Uh, yeah, he's got it there. Uh, that seems a bit out of place here, so um, he says you'll have to send someone out to get some. Yes, he hasn't got enough meat to use it all in one drink. Well, he doesn't also um, cater to trial-sized milk um, containers. Exactly. You could probably um, uh, scull a liter without even noticing. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go. Okay, something non-alcoholic since we're working. Uh, we see so, the, is he the, the uh, mark that we need to protect? I. No, no. He doesn't appear to be. Uh, he said he looks at you and says. Uh, now, uh, Maria looks tough, but take it from me, inside that metal skin is one vulnerable little girl. She just doesn't know how business is done sometimes. We're all sophisticated people here, am I right, he says. Well, to slot it and run it, Maria used to be represented by Armando Hernandez. Hernandez and me, well, we both go back a long way in this biz, and I gotta tell you, we usually don't see eye to eye. You know how that is. Some folks, they can see business is business. Others got to make everything personal. Am I right? I'm fortunate to be true. 
I don't know why that is. Hernandez came up here from Asla As Aztlan. Me trying to get the word out doesn't always work. Um And as is, they got this macho thing. Am I right? He just can't let nobody win them over. Even though Hernandez is UCAS uh, sit now, he still carries the Azzy Macho thing around. And then he, he continues, if you, unless you want to speak up. Uh, so, uh, just, just, just make a comment about that. Yeah, yeah. Azzy's. Yeah, always on. So, this last month, uh, Maria, she comes to me and tells me she has it with this Hernandez guy. Okay, she found out he was. Uh, in, I'm sorry, just went over the page, tight with the yak, and some pretty dirty biz at that, dream chips, you know, BTLs, the kids call them, better than life, that's those poor dreckheads think anyway, that stuff burns your brain to gel slurp, am I right? Yeah, nothing like this good stuff. Uh, she wants to dump Hernandez as her manager, who wouldn't? She's only... She knows I'm the only agent with the connections to give talent like her the right exposure. Oh, man. So that's Wizard. I ain't going to kick a uh, mega Nova Star uh, wants to come work with me. We sign the contract. She gives Hernandez a statutory 30 days notice of intent. And that ought to be all there is to it. But Hernandez, he got to make it personal. He sends around a punk head to give Maria a message. No, not a message, a fragging ultimatum. She works for him, he says, or she doesn't work at all. She never works again, that creep says. Maria busts up the punker, but we're both worried. Hernandez made it pretty clear he wasn't talking lawsuits here. Drac, he ain't got a leg to stand on legally, but he's connected, am I right? I mean, he's got guys talking muscle. Now, legally... One, one person she can take out, she's not sure she can take out a group or a sniper, say. Just now, legally, Maria still works under Hernandez's agency for five more days. For those five days, I can't really bring any leverage to bear on Hernandez to back off. After that, the guild comes in on my side, and Hernandez so much as looks cross-eyed at me and Maria, he's history in the business. But we need protection for five days. That's why I've wanted to talk to you guys, and this is what you do, isn't it? You can go uh, five grand to each of you. Uh, that's a grand a day. Not bad money, am I right? Sounds good. Is it a good starting point? Yeah, I don't have any problems with that. Oh, I mean, I just want to know if you actually use one of them. Yes, uh, yes, well, uh, I I'm glad you guys are happy to bargain. Tell you what I'm going to do. Hernandez is slime, am I right? Now, now, I try to keep professional courtesy, but Hernandez, what does he know from courtesy? I wasn't sure I wanted to erase this little issue, but Hernandez is holding out uh, 180 grand in fees from Maria's concert last month. He just won't pay her money. If you folks saw how that little lady earns her pay, I mean, she has it coming, am I right? She works hard for money, absolutely. Now, I happen to know Hernandez isn't keeping this credit in his own account. I mean, would a sleaze like that keep the money where my own accountants could find it? No way, am I right? He's got, he's got Maria's fees stashed in uh, a tin planted rinky dink operation called Federated Funds Net over on 12th Avenue. A lot of folks in the business use it because their tax reporting and record keeping is well. Let's say their understanding of some of the demands show business makes on cash flow. Okay? Mm -hmm. Fawzi doesn't say, am I right? <laughs> now, I happen to know Federated Systems address Hernandez's uh, address and Hernandez's account code. I normally don't hold with data steals, you understand. But this time, well, if the fella doesn't pay by the rules, what can you do? Am I right? It's her money. If the funds that Maria's got coming her way were to be redirected to my bank account, while well, I could see to see my way to find this fee, say, 
Uh, 10,000 each. Jesus Christ. It seems like For five I'll days work. work. That's pretty good. So uh, he gives you uh, uh, the system address of the uh, network uh, for the federated systems, and he gives you the account code to deposit um, the funds into his own system. And, and he uh, sticks out his hand to uh, shake hands with Flogger, obviously the uh, well-respected leader of the company. Uh, I, sh I shake his hand, I show him my strength. You show him your strength? Yeah. Okay. Uh, there, there is a crunching sound and a bit of um, stuff sprays everywhere as you notice that uh, Flogger has crushed his hand. Flogger can rip doors off a wall. If Flogger shows his strength, nothing can hold up to it very well. He screams. Georgie looks at the blood, blood everywhere, looks at him in the eyes and says, Well, that's a bit of a shame. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so and. What are you doing? And uh, as, he's, uh, as you say that, the doors behind you um, burst open. And everyone looks to see uh, the Rocker Princess uh, strut into the um, room, uh, radiating sexuality and danger. Bloody hell, Mrs. You put an on a jellyfish. So, just wanted to check on So, was Max Hand. Actually bleeding, or just he rubbed the bones together a bit. Uh, you look and you see most of the hands crushed and a few bones are sticking out. Okay, so that's heal critical. Bloody hell! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll boost myself. Vlogger, Vlogger, apologize. Sorry, Vlogger, no noise. Thanks. And then I'll cast heal critical on him. Dagon's been distracted and he's going to actually uh, send boy to Maria. Okay, so uh, what is your uh, magic casting again, Ross? Oh, well, my magic is. My magic skill level div divine is two levels. Yeah. Um, I'm boosting myself, so I'm still only. I've got a stat of three at the moment. So that's. So if you uh, had to cast the augment, that is uh, uh, three dice total and yeah. two purple. Are you adding in divine health? Yeah, might as well. Which doesn't really change the difficulty. Okay, so that cancels out. Uh, so you end up with two successes, a triumph, and um, one threat. How would you like to take the threat? Um, so it was my threshold E, so it's taken two, so I'm down to nine strain. I'll take that as a, um, a wound. So okay. I'm still getting blood noses from this um, augmenting myself. Still haven't worked out the kinks out yet. Okay, so you're now augmented, and then you want to heal the guy. Uh, yeah. So I'm okay, going well, to un unfortunately, the, uh, we're going to have to ask triumph. what everyone else is doing at this stage. What are you going to use the triumph to do? Uh, making it um, give me some bonus dice because heal critical. I think I'll be rolling. What was it? I think it's too difficulty, and then casting the spell as well. So it is uh, three purple to cast. Okay, so three purple. So while he's attending the hand, what's everyone else doing? Okay, Dick has gone to uh, help Maria. Uh, 
get back in, uh, settle down after coming in. Okay, sir. So. Is there a way to provide magical protection? <laughs> So you want to protect Max from um, Ross? No. Alright, well you said you wanted to perform, uh, pr provide magical protection. I was just trying to figure out who you're protecting from what. I just want to know if there's a way to shield. There is. It's called the barrier spell which you have not learned yet. Okay, and it says on this Magic 101 that I can't get it. Or is no, that... you, you can, it's just possible. For you, for you to get it, it costs 10 XP to learn and 10 XP for every um, uh, enhancement to it. Right, so it's not worth getting. It's very expensive compared to your other spells. Alright. We will also increase your um, DCs all by one dice at the same time. Because it's not yeah. your usual thing. Okay. Okay, so. Uh, you, you all. Uh, so you're watching Maria? Yeah, just keeping an eye on her. So okay. I can block a spell if, if needs be. Yeah, he's keeping a lot more than one eye on her. <laughs> And what is Georgie doing? Enjoying the uh, view of uh, a rock star in his presence? Oh, he is very much drooling. And how about uh, Flogger and uh, Bolt? Uh, how are you dealing with being in the presence of a rock star? Um, Probably uh, wagging his tail and, and maybe also drooling over you. Okay, so uh, as you're drooling and staring, you notice that she is uh, moving around the small room like a uh, life silver panther um, and uh, really hyped up from me on stage. Uh, uh, and while this is happening, I will do uh, the next stage roll for the uh, healing attempt. Yeah, so um, how much dice do I get with the, the triumph and whatever the other speeds as well? At the most, you can give yourself uh, one dice by choosing yourself as a target. Okay. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. Can I try to use the upgraded ones? Uh, no, it cannot. Okay, so it's not. So, that looks. Uh, so, uh, you ended up with uh, two successes and a um, threat. Okay, I'm still getting these nosebleeds. Bloody hell. So, you're now up to four strain and two wounds. Yeah. But you have healed his unbroken hand. Now, did we learn something about this? Don't shake hands with a troll. Especially if his name's Flogger. It says Tony's professional. Uh, yeah, but Flogger doesn't know his own strength. His hand does look sort of funny the way it's been held. But it looks like he can now use his hand even though it does look to be slightly odd shape. He's in character. And Maria uh, is introduced to uh, to each of you. Don't mind me. You're in safe hands. Uh, do any of your characters know Spanish? No, I know. Uh, I know Welsh. Sure, I could download something. But whatever. Georgie barely knows English. <laughs> yeah, Georgie only knows his two English. English and bad English. 
Yeah, R Rakesh has Rakesh the potential to download it. So yes, uh, she uh, speaks with a mixture of English and Spanish, with a noticeable uh, as Lantian accent. Right. Uh, she says she'll be back in a moment. Uh, steps into the bathroom to clean up, clean up and change. Okay. Sure, she looks through his motor and and just doors. <laughs> Are there any other doors out of the uh, before, the before she enters the room, can I have a open the door and have a quick look into that room? Uh, you can. Jesus. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's not. I'm assuming it's not while she's going. No, it is before she gets through. Let's see. Oh, right. Just seeing which one is the one that the one you meet in. Okay, so. Uh, uh, you look in there, there's only a toilet, shower, and basin in there. Any windows in there? Uh, no, it's uh, fully enclosed with lighting. Okay, so the, basically the only exit is through the sewage. Very much so. <laughs> okay. <sighs> oh, okay. Okay, so... Um, um, while, she, while she's in there, Deirdre's going to ask Max, saying, so, did she say why she wanted to get away? Well, uh, he, he works with the axe, isn't that enough? Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> You're not going to break my hand too, are you? He says, looking at you rather suspiciously. No, my nose can't take it. Hey. Unlike some, I know my own strength. Okay, so uh, even though you've only talked for moments, um, uh, Maria emerges and she looks subdued, uh, speaking uh, very quietly with very little more motion. Uh, the tight revealing costume she wore on stage has been replaced by a padded kimono belted tightly around the waist. Though she looks as attractive as ever, um, she doesn't have that flaunting sexual challenge she gave before she walked into the room. Okay. Great ma'am, a big fan, wonderful to meet you. Uh, she greets you and says, uh, I'm very happy uh, to see you. I used to be happy working with Amando, but he took a frightened and angry child singing for pennies in a brothel and showed her how to give fear and anger a voice to cry out. He helped me make a career and in other ways was a good friend. Most of all, he did not look at me like a freak with a metal body or a thing to take to his bed. But it was another human being lost in this world. We must all live in. We were He's never lovers, lost. but if he had ever asked or wanted to, I think she pauses a little bit. Well, that is past now. Five years we worked together. Last month, our office computer had a crash. While working to restore the data, I found, I found files from Armando's private memory space that impl implicated him in the dream chi chip traffic. I lost someone close to me to the dreams. I could not bear to be so near someone who sold that death to people. It was uh, that makes sense. Yeah. Just, it was Careful, worse perhaps, It was worse perhaps because Armando was someone I loved, someone I respected. Yes, I owed him much, but this no could not be tolerated. So I came to Senor Foley. The relationship is just with a side long glance of distaste at Max, just business. But that is perhaps better, no? A heart is not involved off the stage and so can sing all the more clearly for that. It's important to separate business from others, yes. Uh, uh, she, she nods, I'm glad that you understand. So, you saying that uh, you were helping to restore Armando's computer with the crash? 
And with that, the uh, door to the uh, room kicks in as I get each of you to make a vigilance check to see where you fit on initiative. Yeah. Uh, I, I get one. Uh, the, uh, I don't die. Yeah, the vigilance is will based, so I've got one willpower with no ranks and I'll probably be distracted. Okay, so you got one success and one advantage. Wow. <laughs> okay. They, 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 must come, they, they must have come in from the, the direction that I have to be facing because Maria can be in. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you're always looking in the right direction. It is you, after all. Then we have Womp with his... Uh, is willpower, you said? Uh, uh, yep, yeah, so with me boosted up, that's four. Four green. So I haven't taken the digital yet. Yes. Every skill is useful in different points. Oh, that one was from the previous person. So you ended up with two advantages... Uh, uh, two successes and three advantages. Yeah, I can't use an advantage to the heels of strength. <laughs> uh, then we have Rakesh, who has willpower of three, um, but no uh, vigilance either. So he got four advantages. Cool. Then we look at what Bolt has to offer. Bolt has no vigilance, but has two willpower. Did I skip that? You skipped that one. You, you thought you didn't really need that one at all, after all. Mm -hmm. what, what, what kind of guard dog are you? Uh, not right. Bad dog? <laughs> bad dog. Bad, bad dog. <laughs> then we have Georgie with his uh, uh, two willpower. We have two advantages. Then we have our last person up is Flogger with two as well. And Flogger gets two successes. Way. Yay! Okay, so doing other people to see where they fall. I look bad. Uh, I look worse. Oh, we got a pro with us. Okay, two pros. Great. Well, you are going up against people who planned what they were doing. <sighs> okay, now I'm just going to order it all so I can figure out where you all go on the pecking. that will say which group goes when because there are technically multiple groups acting at the same time which is always fun up to the um, start of things okay so door opens up um, guy with um, gun points it at logo and pulls the trigger One, three, shot. Um, one, two, three, shot. 
Yes. So just just getting the book so I can actually uh, figure out how much you're being shot at for. If I can figure out where I put that book. Apparently the book has decided to hide from me. <laughs> Magic disappearing book. Yeah, you, you get that sometimes when you're going. I have to shuffle things around to make things work. That's what baby on your legs. Yes, Martin, I too remember it. Um, okay. okay. Ah, where did I hide that book? You might have to pause for a moment while I duck into the other room where I think I put it. <laughs> it's like Matrix slow mo bullets coming towards Florida. Florida can't be shot if the ball can't be ground. <laughs> <laughs> Magic non existent bullets because the book doesn't exist. The book is alive. I have the power of plot armor on my <laughs> Don't you act like a gun, child? A gooder. Yeah. Oh, go get daddy. Yeah. Honey. 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 Why do you take like three or four steps and then you just give up and you turn? Um, well, I feel personally attacked over my entire life. <laughs> okay, so I think Bob's a great idea. I have the book, so you don't have to worry too much about that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I could always up the um uh, uh street killer. <laughs> Okay, making sure I give you uh, someone um, uh, decent enough to um, go up against. Wouldn't want to feel like you um, didn't have someone um, up your alley. What was it? She bounced out the wall. No, I don't want to have. Well, okay, so um, he. We could have got red eyes at the moment. I'm sure Cactus Sarah just came and being attacked by vampires. It has glowing red eyes, and instead of shooting, he runs over to Flogger and punches him. <laughs> hey, it's a good old Biffo! Hey, Flogger, meet Biffo! Okay, so uh, apparently that was a good punch. Well, it's a. Well, I tried them. Ow. Oh, wait a sec, you can't regenerate, can you? Because that's not a trial. Uh, he can, it's just slower now. Yeah. Okay, so um, uh, you just got uh, a. Uh, uh, big punch by this little guy that took you off your feet as he uh, knocked you down with the blow. Uh -huh. And manage managing to deal you uh, 10 damage, so three of it got through. With, with his punch. But uh, the unfortunate thing for Flogger is the punch came with a uh, bit of a negative. It's always fun when you're trying to find the one little thing you need that seems to get moved about. Yeah. So the one thing I was looking for at this stage, here it is, the critical hit table. Yay! So he rolled a 77 with three makes it 80. 
Oh, oh great. He, he, he overpowers you with a uh, critical hit, giving him a second critical hit, uh, second attack on you. Oh. Uh, that's what happened to me in Star Wars, where I got blasted to pieces. And it's the same roll again. So, he gets to make exactly the same roll against you, and see how that get, plays out. Yeah, Though he does get an extra dice head. because you're prone, which doesn't do much, which is good. So, this one, and this one goes away. And it looks like he's just putting his wound in this time. He's, he's just, just kicking you while you're down. down. Okay, so this time he deals uh, 4 damage to you while you're down. So, you've now taken 7 damage. So he did a total of 9 points with that kick, or whatever. Uh, Flogger has a soak of 7. Okay, so... He did 11 points of damage. What the hell is this? Bunchkin. Slow it up, Wolf. 11 damage to... Is it 11 It is 11 damage. Um, Eleven. Da oh, sorry, sorry. Seven damage total to you with one um, crit. <laughs> then the next one steps in and points a um, uh, pistol at uh, Womp and pulls the trigger. Okay, so um, uh, we have uh, a total you've got, of. I've got another. I've got a defense dice as well. Defense dice. Okay, add in defense dice. It's not going to make it um, any um, better for him. Which but is it might lessen the damage slightly. And it is blank. So he ends up with a net um, five advantages. So he does want to penalize um, Womp's next action. He does one to um, boost his um, next friend's go, and he gives his next ally a bonus. So he boosts his next ally twice. Okay. Uh, Max throws himself under the table. Now, which party member would like to go next? Frogger would like to. So Frogger will have to spend a um, action to get himself off the ground. I oh, know, not an action, a um, uh, maneuver. Yep. Do you want me to augment you with well, in that case, you'll have to go first then. Yeah, Okay, okay so, Martin, Martin is up next. What is your primal? I'm just augmenting. Okay. Um, you're just, just augmenting him? Yeah. So that means you add. You have. Don't you have that uh, Fury thing or whatever? Yeah, it's, well, it's, it's pretty convenient. Do you want to add on Primal Fury onto it? Here's what, um, yes. would have been on. So in which case it goes from 2 purple to uh, 3 purple. Difficulty. Yeah. Okay, oh, so... Oh, we got a triumph. Okay, so you ended up with um, uh, two net successes and a triumph and a threat. So it cost you two strain to get it up. And how would you like to take the um, uh, uh, threat as either uh, two strain or one wound? Uh, 
two, uh, two. Um, Remember, strain is what you. If you don't be touching spell, you're, you're doing strain to yourself. So technically, strain is a more valuable commodity for you as a as a tasker. Yeah, but you're not too badly wounded. That is. But yeah, but it would be. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll take the. Okay. Okay. So yes, you managed to get it up. Uh, and just so uh, 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 we know for our womp, Womps are uh, now considered to do two extra damage when he hits, um, as well as having his strength increased by one. Oh, I know Womp Flogger, Flogger. Oh, Flogger? Yeah, because you did it on Flogger. Because of the Primal Fury, your strength is increased. <laughs> Uh, but that's if you're not using a weapon. If you just go, yeah. If you're just going to punch um, without a weapon, you do two extra damage and uh, have a crit rating. So uh, that was um, uh, Rakesh's go. Uh, our party member does get to go next. Can David have a shot at the other guy before he actually gets to take advantage of the bonus as the first guy gave him? Uh, he can, but uh, you can't see him. He's not in the room. Oh, so, 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 so only one guy came in? Uh, two guys to come in. So, yes, I'm saying that there's a third guy you haven't seen yet. No, no, I, I, I thought there was two guys that had come in. Two guys had come in, and the second guy who came in gave the uh, bonuses to the third guy who hasn't been seen yet. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. It was more the idea, yeah. If the second guy in the room, well, the second one we know about hasn't yet acted, Eglin wants to try and shoot him on the idea that, hey, I'm not acting to stop him getting active. Uh, two, the, the two you can see have both acted. The first one came oh, in and acted. took Sorry. down Flogger. And second one came in and shot at Womp. Ah, uh, right, yep. Um, well, now, now that I'm um, Primal Fury, I will, I will step up and get up. Is that before or after Desrin shoots? Oh, uh, well, he gets it, that's fine. Okay, so. Wait for his good opportunity. So, Flogger is now going next. So if Logger gets up, spending a maneuver. Yep. And and Logger is going to squish this puny thing. Okay. Are you just going to punch it, or you're going to use flog fists? Flog fists. Do you want to have a puny demon on him? Yeah. Puny mortal. <laughs> oh, sorry, I also forgot to give you an extra three damage for when he knocked you down. He has a special bonus for knocking people down. So if Glogger has got ten wounds. It's called street fighting. Okay, so let's see. That's that, and that, and that, and that. So you do nine damage with him soaking some of that. And you have uh, two advantages. What would you like to do with your two advantages? Uh how much damage was that? Three, you did a total of uh, nine damage with your punch. 
not yeah. counting anything he had to um, defense against it. Mm. Um, I use my two to give Desrin a blue dice. Okay, Desrin gains a blue dice. Maria uh, looks uh, unsure what to do at this stage. Uh, it's basically deers in the headlight. It is parties go. Who would like to go next? Bolt can go. Bolt is up. How far away am I from this person that's supposed to be protecting? Uh, small room, so I'd say you could do a maneuver to get to them. Okay. And would it be a maneuver to get them? So I'm presuming the bathroom's like ah uh, yes and you think you could walk through the walls surrounding it plasterboard we might have to ask if David can mute for the moment while he's not because he's putting a lot of noise through okay so um so go again, Em. Um, yeah, sorry. Um, Plasterboard so in the room, so you could pretty much um, uh, have the weakest member of the party punch their way through the walls if they wish to. Oh, yeah, no, but what I was thinking more, like, trying to get her, if she's a different head, like, get her into that room. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's a defensible-ish position. She's at least out of sight, if not actually in a secure location. I'm yeah. happy with that. I just wanted to let you know for sure so you knew what you're getting yourself into. Yeah, I, like, so yeah, okay, the walls are more flimsy, but at least she's, like, behind some cover. Okay, so you want to use an action to uh, maneuver her into the room? Yes. Okay, we have Bolt maneuver the, uh, the, um, uh, uh, the escort quest into the room. That's probably the best name for it. <laughs> So that leaves us with um, next person up, which is either a um, um, Desrin, Womp, or Georgie. Uh, Desrin will take a shot at the, uh, the one that shot at Womp. Okay. He's quick draw to pull his pistol. Okay, pistol is out. Yep. Uh, what is your yeah. pistols? Uh, so he's got five dice, one of them yellow. And they are close. You're shooting at the guy who shot. And, and I think he's got a blue dice as well. He got some and a blue dice. From... And in fact, actually, I can aim, can't I? You can. Oh, I've, got a, I've got a maneuver available to aim. Because you had quick draw, which allowed you to get it out quickly. Yep. Okay, so that and that are taken by that. That, that takes that, that and that and that, 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 leaving you with a success and an advantage. So your pistol does uh, six damage, and uh, yes, you actually hit and see a splat of blood. I'll use the advantage to give a blue dice to the next PC. Okay. Okay, so uh, we, we now have it between Womp and, Womp and Georgie. Who wishes to go next? next? Um. Oh, nope. It's fine. He's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. He's going to Okay, so uh, Georgie uh, spends a maneuver to get his uh, uh, hammer ready. Well, actually, I don't think you would actually uh, have carried, been able to carry the hammer into the place. It is a nightclub oh, after all, and everyone did have to check their weapons in. Oh, does that mean Declan didn't have his pistol? Technically, yes. Okay. 
Oh, we should do some checking. One of his pistols, apparently. I'm happy to say he smuggled one in. <laughs> so, Georgie goes and tries to leap on one of the guys. With his uh, fantastic melee skill. Which actually is pretty good. Or uh, brawl skill, I meant. Which he doesn't actually have brawl. Well, he goes and tries to beat the guy up because, well... What about an improvised uh, smash? Uh, so he could pick up the uh, uh, the priceless Ming vase that's sitting on the shelf there. <laughs> uh, I think he would be better without it. Oh, okay. Because you do get um, penalties for using improvised weapons. Oh, sorry. I forgot to add in the... Uh, I gave the wrong bad guy dice. Okay, so that and that and so Georgie does succeed and connect and hits the guy dealing some damage to him as well as you see uh, him uh, do a, uh, a nice brutal punch to the face okay Then behind him, uh, uh, you see a, a guy uh, do a shotgun uh, at um, Georgie. Pretty uh, big sound of the of the shotgun going off. What does Georgie have? Georgie has one defense. And this guy has multiple blue dice. That'll hurt. Okay, so that and that, get rid of that. Okay, so he got one next success and uh, one advantage. So he doesn't get to do all the special stuff he does when he hits someone. But he does do um, uh, five damage, which means he doesn't actually get through Georgie's um, Cirque. Nice. But he, he does um, uh, hit everyone else in the room with a blast of four. So if um, anyone in the room has a soak of uh, less than four, you take damage. Well, I've, got, I've got a soak of three, but I have got a defense of one. Uh, defense doesn't stop um, area damage. Okay. He, he's basically fired uh, a, a wide burst into the room. So Desrin takes one damage. Have I got a soak of five? I'm going through them all now. So Flogger doesn't, <laughs> doesn't even like notice. That. Georgie doesn't even notice. Rakesh takes one damage. Okay. Not there yet. Womp doesn't even notice. So, uh, most of you didn't even feel the um, shot go off. And luckily, um, Bolt had pushed the other person into the room, and uh, even though it's plasterboard, it still stopped the um, uh, damage. Mm -hmm. Now it is um, Womp's turn. Okay, I am drawing out the slap patch and whacking it on. Okay, so uh, one maneuver um, to get it out and an action to apply it. Yeah. So that means Flogger recovers um, six. So Flogger is now on four. Yay! Yeah, so he's taking four damage. Not that he's on four hit points. <laughs> yes, he, well, he's got four damage, yes. I, I keep it from the damage perspective because yeah. it's supposed to go up to your threshold, not um, reduce your threshold to zero. Uh, so that is new round. 
Now it is there goes the the guy who punched um, Flogger to the ground uh, winds up for another punch. Ouch. This time he aims his blow because well um, he he doesn't have to move. Oh, three. <laughs> that doesn't sound good with the amount of dice. <laughs> okay, so that and that disappear. That and that disappear. So he got one net success. So with that punch, uh, he deals nine damage. So two of it gets through into um, Flogger. So Floggers now have has six wounds. Then the other guy who George is facing. Uh, steps back into the um, hallway uh, to uh, uh, so he's not right up against Georgie and then shoots at Georgie because uh, amusingly you, you can't easily shoot into Malie uh, you probably need a talent called Gun, gun, gun Oh, you, you, get, you get harder dice rolls okay so apparently that was a good shot I need to get their guns. Uh, as he uh, hits Georgie for eight damage. With that eight damage, three of it gets through. And he crit hits at the same time. Doing a 78. So, with a 78, uh, he gets another shot. And another crit. Oh, God. What, what is these with the repeating the attacks? So. Uh, obviously, they're highly skilled uh, mercenaries who are, who are here to mess you up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, have they ever been rolling defense dice? Mm -hmm. So he ended up with um, lots of advantages, but uh, he uses those to boost, um, uh, two to boost uh, his next action, uh, two to make uh, Wom's next action worse. And uh, uh, one lot of those to uh, knock down um, Georgie. Because he had the knockdown feature. Still worried. Okay, so it is uh, Max's turn now. Uh, Max is, uh, says, "What you doing? Um, deal with them already." Party go. We're on it. <laughs> Thanks. Well, it's, just, it's, it's what I hired you for. Look, it's gonna. Okay, you use a maneuver to move to the doorway, protecting everyone else from the um, two attackers outside. Okay, we'll have Desmond go, unless you, you want to go back again. No, no, we're, we're okay, we're okay. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so you've got the one guy in the room and you got two in the doorway. Do you want to close in the doorway or beat the guy up you're fighting? Uh, this, 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 this to this, I'm going to keep on beating up the guy. Yeah, he's made a lot of Okay, okay you, you can, can also aim your fist, fist because you're, you're not moving anywhere. anywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah, you weren't knocked down this time. time. Okay, so that looks rather nice. So, Frogger using his vlog fist actually gets a critical hit in there. Way! I got a critical hit! Way! Do you want to take it as a critical hit? Yes, please. Okay, so you uh, punch him so hard, um, everyone sees his head roll over backwards uh, with oh. the spine sticking up. 
um, not attached to the head anymore. Oh, so uppercut. Yeah. <laughs> uh, finish you. And uh, strangely the enough, the body still the body's still standing in attack pose. Flog a punch. <laughs> Who wishes to go next? Oh, uh, um, I, I, I was wondering if I could use an AOE blast, which would be you can the two people side by side at, oh, in no. the second rank. No, how, how no. big is the space? Is it like uh, anything within engaged, which uh, technically um, is everybody? No, 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 no one engaged with the guys in the door. I don't think. Uh, but, which but is I can a blast. So what yeah, I was trying you, you can get them when you hit anyone else. What what I was trying to say is with, with his um blast, uh the the two people in the doorway had stepped back from Georgie. If they hadn't stepped back from Georgie, then the entire room was engaged. Because uh it will hit everything who's engaged and keep going. Uh, if if oh, they're okay. minions, so it's not just engaged with the original target. It's engaged with anyone who's engaged with the original target yeah. as well. Yeah, it's basically um, it, it is an area thing. So anything that is considered engaged with the original target will be caught up in it. So Georgie is just outside of the engaged range. Cool. Just. Oh, yeah. All right. Good time to blast. I'll do. It. Okay, so for you to throw off your blast. I actually put it in there to make it easier. So it is two dice versus your um, four dice, so it's actually pretty good um, odds for you. So which one are you? Uh, which one are you attacking? The uh, the the guy who were, who Georgie was trying to punch. Well, the idea was that I would hit the two in the next rank. Uh, thing is, you have to target one of them. Which one are you targeting? You get both of them, but one will be affected by the blast, one will be affected by the direct spell. Alright, so the one on the right. Yeah. Main thing is, I couldn't tell you um, what the difficulty changes are based on the two you're attacking. Okay. So, uh, that's going to be an interesting roll. Is that two despairs? It is, two despairs. Uh, what does that do? Oh, well, I, I don't know what a magic spell. spell. Two despairs. Well, I can... Out or so, basically, the character completely loses control of their magical energies uh, and suffers one critical injury. Critical ult. So he's going over. <laughs> yeah. So so basically, uh, his his spell backfires and he takes the damage instead of that, and basically does a burst on the party with the miscast. Uh, so the plus side, <laughs> as in, the person we're protecting is not in in the engaged area. Yeah, I guess there's that. Okay, so it is four, five, six, six damage to uh, our um, caster. Can he use one of the advantages to have pushed Georgie into engaged range with two of them so at least I get the, the after effect of the blast? <laughs> I'm assuming George is the only one who doesn't get caught in the blast. Oh, okay, right. Okay. <laughs> As he had moved away from everyone to engage the shooter. Yep. Alright. So, with that, uh, you are um, currently dealing... Uh, so, it was six damage. You so three of it. So, you take three damage. Okay. So, that puts you up to five so far. And you're dealing an area of um, uh, two damage to everyone else, which I'm um, two, three, four, four damage to everyone else, which 
Uh, means Desmond takes another arm damage. Okay. Sorry, Sorry Tay. Mm -hmm. uh, you're all good. And... Oh, oh. Oh, hey. You don't always get this. So th this is yeah, the, a uh, very common thing. It's a, a 1 in 12 yeah, to get it on a red dice. Yeah, and, and you've got there. Two despair. Miscast. Mm. Chances of two despairs, 1 in 144. Because you know, half the boy over here. And your critical hit. Yeah. And your critical hit is a fairly simple one. Uh, you are considered off balance and gain a black dice on your next check. Oh, come on, you really? Alright. I'll do something safe then. Okay, so that was um, uh, Rakesh's go. Maria's go. Um, uh, you see Maria going, changing almost um, personality-wise while she's in the room, going from what appears to be deer in the headlights to uh, if you don't get out of my way, I will throw you through the wall sort of um, attitude. Um, uh, Paul? As a um, uh, as her, her leg moves slightly and a gun pops out into her hand. Oh. Uh, hold on, yelps. And she point. She she raises a gun and pulls the trigger. Oh. Uh, uh, bolt. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not the bad guy. <laughs> You're just a bad puppy. Yeah, but you, 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 couldn't you, you couldn't hit your hands off her if you tried to put you in the room. <laughs> okay, so we take that one away and that one away. And so she ended up with... So she got a crit hit with um, five net successes. As you see, uh, one of the guys standing outside of the wall, uh, outside of the room, um, his head explode. Sorry, what happened? She she shot one of the um, guys outside um, in the in the forehead. Through the wall. Through through the shut door. Through the wall. How did she know you was there? Yeah. Or memory. Oh, memory. <laughs> You've been banned from the bat server. I think it was luck. <laughs> <laughs> luck. She was aiming for you. But missed. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I'm surprised. <laughs> and uh, amusingly enough, you were just standing roughly where she was pointing the gun when she fired. Oh. So, so me yelping and, and, and ducking. Is, ducking. Uh, and, and you believe you've just ducked out of the way of her shot. Uh, and then you hear you, you hear the sound of bone exploding in the room next door. Okay, so party members go. Who wishes to go next? Okay. Go on. Uh, Walt pulls out um, little words and shoots the um, remaining thug. Okay. What do you need to use little words? It's my it's my cannon. Yes, but uh, hopefully you have got one skill, one skill, and um, and my status three. Did you get? Did, did you manage to put your cannon through security? Prob did you check it in with everyone else who had to check in their weapons? No, because I'm being the bodyguard. Okay. The bodyguard needs their weapon. And plus, it is. It, Desmond snuck one in. Did you sneak yours in? Uh, I'll charm my way in with it. I'm, I'm just, just saying, saying that I'm, a, I'm the bodyguard here to hire, so I need my weapon. Okay. No one wants to know where he did that kind of <laughs> So it wasn't hit, obviously. And you, you, you pull your weapon out of thin air, apparently. And shoot it. Quite well, apparently. 
So uh, you take um, one threat and get uh, two net advantages. Uh, two net successes, I mean, uh, which means it does nine damage, uh, and you get a triumph, which you can turn into a critical hit if you wish to. Uh, yes, please. Okay, this will be a rolled critical hit, as he is not a um, mook. So, uh, with your nine damage, he soaks some of it, so he is a critical hit of 70. I'm going to get 80 so I can get a second shot out of it. <laughs> On the next critical you get, you'll get the plus 8, plus 10. Okay. Mm. Amusingly, it was so close to knocking him out. Okay, so that was our Womps go, uh, leading us to another party member. Who wishes to go? So oh, she shot through the wall. Can I see what's happening in the room now? Like, there's a big enough shot to break the box. So, um, look, looking, <laughs> so just describing for Bolt, looking into the room, you see one of the um, guys has his head turned um, upside down, looking at you. Uh, <laughs> you. You can see you can see parts of his spine sticking up in the air still, from where he, where his head was supposed to be hanging. <laughs> um, and, and his eyes are still open and mouth moving mm, and delicious. there's a uh, blood splatter in the hallway um, with what appears to be um, brain matter all over the wall in a nice uh, Jackson Pollock painting <laughs> yep. and there is the guy who's in who seemed to be in charge with multiple um, holes in him and looks like he's been uh uh, he was fighting with Georgie earlier. Sorry, we just have to mute while we transfer baby back to me because so she's getting tired. So she's getting clingy and also very pushy and very all good. Thingy. Um. Okay. So the other guy is standing in the room. Can Maybe, I get to him? Uh, you can get to him and most likely just push him over. <laughs> I'm going to bite him anyway, just, you know, because I'm vindictive by that. Bite the head off? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? It's not hanging on by bone anymore. Okay. Wait, not, the not the dead guy, the guy who's... <laughs> there's, there's right? There is, but, um... You, you will technically have to do two manoeuvres to get there, which you can do with your movement. Um, can I do that? You can do that, and then you attack. Yes. Okay, Bolt's attacking is Brawl of 1, Brawn of 4, and you're doing a melee attack against him, so the dif difficulty is upgraded twice. Okay, so... Apparently, uh, you try to bite him, but he holds you off. <laughs> Clearly, my uh, two maneuvers is having to get back into the room, threw me off. Yeah, well, you got to do you got to do one to cross the room and one to engage in melee. Yeah. Because you you got to get through the door that you closed. Yeah. 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 Okay. Bolt is gone. Um, that leaves Desrin, Georgie, to go. And now the last guy's in melee with Bolt. <laughs> that is correct. Mm. Uh, that's right. Desmond can shoot around Bolt. Desmond goes to shoot around Bolt. That's right. Use the aim and uh, take the shot. Uh, Okay, so those go away, and those go away, and Desrin gets a net uh, two successes, 
and two advantages. So with that, your basic weapon yeah. that does six damage uh, does six point, eight, so eight, eight damage. Eight damage and not, not quite enough for critical, so uh, he'll... There's only one person left to act around, isn't there? There is um, only one person left to act, but you do score another crit on him. I do? Yep. Because you oh, took because him, the actual damage you took? Uh, because you took him to zero hit points, you score another yeah. crit. Okay, uh, do, 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 do you basically uh, shoot him in the shoulder, making him okay. drop his gun and collapse? Uh, well, I will not be too much left happening now, I don't think, but I will give the uh, uh, blue dice to the, the next one, the captain. Mm -hmm. so. Go Georgie, go Georgie, go Georgie, go. Georgie, go. Does Georgie wish to beat up that person who's now um, being taken down, even though he's not here at the moment? Do people envision that Georgie would rush up and beat up on the person? <laughs> yeah, because he uh, injured him. Okay, so Georgie goes and does beat stick on person. We have a dice because the guy's prone. So Georgie does um, beat up on him. Uh, Martin. Yep. Uh, we're just gonna change me uh, and get, get a fence so not be gone for quite ten minutes. All good. They, I'm sure they'll be able to hold up the fort until you get back. Okay, so uh, basically uh, beats him uh, again, beating him. Uh, you see basically blood splatter, but the guy doesn't seem to be dead. He's a tough one. Okay, so yes, you, you have taken him down though. And uh, Desmond remembers seeing him at the bar where you got the um, job for your first, uh, where Desmond got the job. Oh, you mean at, at uh, uh, Rio's? Rio's, yep. Yeah. <coughs> okay. But so do I recognize, like, look at that, do I think, hang on, do I recognize the others were also at the bar? Or? Uh, the other two were also at the bar, but they're less of note because you, you've, you've killed those two. Yeah. yeah. It's not like they can um, go back to running. This guy is currently, um, uh, well, he, he's probably bleeding out, but he's not dead yet. Um, the, hey, hey, guys. Might be worth packing him to see to, to get him skin pork. So, but um, uh, Desmond's going to go and uh, have a look down the, the outside just to make sure there's no more coming in the corridor. And while he's also thinking as to whether or not he remembers those three guys, if he remembers those three guys at the bar, do you remember whether there was anyone else with them? You do remember someone in a uh, black hood um, talking to them? But that may have been their Johnson. So it may have been their what? Johnson. Oh, oh, that's, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking of, is the sense, sense of, of hey, were they, they just hired for the, the uh, do, do a job, job to catch uh, things? things? So, um, yeah. yeah, I. I, I I'll, I'll, I'll be spending my time, if I'm not seeing anything out there, I'll be actually watching the doorway, but um, also trying to think whether or not I can remember anything more about the uh, this cloak figure. Okay, so I shall give you some sort of test. What's a good test? Let's make it a memory test, an intelligence test. Okay. I've got a whole two. 
As it's happened today, I will give it only one dice difficulty. So yes, you do happen to remember um, the guy saying something about Hernandez as you're walking past. Not that you were paying a lot of attention, but... Well, not with the fact that we were getting richer, richer, richer by then. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, okay, so... Definitely connection for Hernandez, yep. And, and I'm assuming I'm not seeing anyone in the, in the hallway? Um, well, there, there is um, two people in the hallway, but one of them's um, brains are against the wall and one of them's slowly bleeding out. Oh, okay, so the one that's only, okay, so having sent the others that they should patch them up type stuff, yeah, I'll basically uh, take a position to ensure that no one's going to interrupt them while someone comes in and tries to stop this guy bleeding out so we can talk to him. Though it is also pointed out by Bolt that uh, uh, it was um, uh, Maria who shot the guy in the hallway. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's obviously a lucky shot, so accidental. Though she doesn't seem um, to have a gun on her when you um, see her next. Yep. Yeah. Okay. What do you want to do, guys? Okay. Is someone going to stop this guy bleeding out so we can talk to him? Uh, well, let's see. Um, yeah, I'll tie him up first. Okay, let's it's see a, if... Search, search for any weapons and I'm going to heal critical on him. Okay. Do, 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 do. You can't have to heal him, you can stop him dying. Okay, so you, you tie him up and uh, you notice by the time you finish tying him up, he stopped bleeding. You check a pulse, he's got no pulse. Can I try using a slap patch on him? I've got medicine no, still as well. Uh, he's you, gone. You, you could, but unfortunately um, you need a pulse to use a slap patch to move the chemicals around the body. Right. Once they stop beating, they stop um, living. Yeah, I haven't got to the stage where I can do resurrection. And as it Next is, time, resurrection is very damages. difficult. And you uh, get I'll, I'll uh, look through the pockets and see if there's any indication as to who they are was and any other pieces. Wasn't there three people? There yeah. were? Yeah, yeah, the other two of them lost their heads. heads. Right, okay. One of them's got a hole the size of your fist through it. And the other one's heads um, disconnected from the neck bone. With a very uh, big smile on Flogger's uh, face as he looks at it. So, uh, going through their pockets, you find that, um, that the guy who beat up Flogger has what appears to be uh, powered gauntlets. Which is why he had such an advantage on Flogger. Yeah. Because they do lots of damage when they allow you to hit, but they're not troll sized. Uh -huh. <laughs> but, but they might be Georgie sized. Yeah, could either be. Well, actually, they're sure. Good. They are Georgie sized. I've now got an image of Georgie wearing a bowler hat with eyeliner with gauntlets. So, no, making note down for Georgia with power gauntlets. Slogger is visibly sad. And he did have really nice armor on him. Did? Well, he, 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 he has basically uh, had his um, neck snapped, so uh, it's, it's a lot harder to get the armor off than it used to be. <laughs> Oh, there's no head in the way now. Oh no, the head's still attached. What kind of arm? 
It is uh, a, a, a proper armored vest, which increases your soak by one. So your soak is your soak is one at the moment, so it gives your soak a two instead of a soak of one. Did you already have one? Yeah, yeah, but you've got this Kevlar, which is just a soak of one. This is the soak of two. So it makes you slightly, better, slightly hardier. Yeah, does anybody else want it? Uh, it's too small for me. Hey. Megan could probably wear it, but... Yeah. Uh, is anybody... Yeah, I think the blood will probably clash with your clothes. Um, I think probably Bolt, unless it's going to diversify Bolt. Bolt's a bit more squishy, doesn't it? I'd also be looking at the fact of, uh... Whether or not we've got time to really trim the stuff here. We've and got you have, enough money to buy the stuff now. So. And you have people coming in saying um, that there's dead bodies out here. So Someone broke in through the back door. There's uh, two dead and three um, bleeding out. Do you, anyone here got no first aid? Okay. okay. Looks, Looks like, like I'm going to get unconscious. unconscious. Um, what can you do? I'm trying. What can you do? Um... We'll be back in a minute again, Mom. All good. So, is, isn't there a medicine skill? skill? There is a medicine skill, yes. There is, but no one's got that. No. no. I, I, I cheat. And no one's got intelligence to use it. Yeah, no, I haven't got slap patches, patches, but... Um, yeah, I'm just going to use it. Do you burn through your slap patches saving people? Um, yeah, I'm a sucker for that. Well, there are, uh, so there are three severely injured, so you can bend three slap patches to save people. Uh, I think um, I've only got one slap patch left. Is that after you spend three, or you've only got uh, one to spend on three people? Uh, I, had, I was supposed to have five. So that means one left after uh, spending that. Okay. Yeah. I can add another one. Aren't they expensive? No, they're not. The dirt sheet, they're like, what is it, 30 credits or something like that? They're worth more than George's ice cream. Remember, you'll say expensive value when we've got 160 odd thousand already. Yeah. <laughs> so the, um, the, the, the leader you tied up has a chrome plated pistol. Ooh. Okay, Desmond. This is too small for me to use. And as you pull it away from the hand, you see it has um, uh, hand connectors. Uh, well, well actually, I, can I, can still still I can still pocket, pocket it because, hey, I'll, I'll get time it up at some point. But I'm not going to try and do anything with it. So. so as you pick it up, it uh, uh, makes a. Uh, uh, you know the sound Windows makes when it's not happy? Mm -hmm. Makes one of those I sounds. I will toss it to the side into a corner that's not being occupied at the present time. You, th you think it is um, uh, 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 locked to the um, person who's using it? 404 using using lockdown. But, but yeah, yeah, but, but also, it doesn't sound like it's about to explode, it's not actually working. Just not working. So you need, you need, you need somebody, somebody to hack it. it. Yeah. Okay, if okay. they're not going to explode, I'm happy to pocket it. Mm -hmm. okay. And we've also got a shotgun. And you got a shotgun, but, um... George, you grab the shotgun. shotgun. Okay. <laughs> Wait, Wait, no. Georgie Cole shotgun? It's too small for me. I've got big fingers. Dagon can use the shotgun pretty well. Yeah. No, wait, does Dagon already have a pistol? You don't know. Yeah, you already have a pistol. Yeah, I've got a couple of pistols, like I said. 
It's the shotguns designed up uh, to be a room sweeper, so it will fire in, do an do an area burst when you fire it. Yeah. So it's more so we just don't have any weapons on us right now, do we? That's not right now. You could also use it as an improvised club. Uh huh. Um, also to answer Desrin's um, question before about the armor, yes, we have enough to buy it, but why buy it when it's right there? I'm a dead guy for the day. Yeah, I'm happy. If you if you if you give it a lot, um, go for it. I would walk down with the ruffle through the ruffle through their pockets and uh, potentially ready to move. And the one thing you did notice is that no matter how much damage you caused any of them, none of them grunted in pain. Yeah, I did notice they weren't going down as they should off. Um, maybe they're being either drugged up. Uh, would you like to make a medicine check? Would you like to make a medicine check now that you have that extra dice to make the check with? Yeah, yeah so it upgrades from one dice to two dice. That's better than zero dice. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you gain um, one advantage. Would you like to use that to reduce strain? Uh, yes, please. And now that combat's officially finished, you each get to make a uh, call or vigilance check to recover strain. Uh, I'll do a, um, what was it, vigilance. So vigilance is four dice for you? Ah, uh, yes. So you recover uh, four, three strain. So Ross is on zero strain. Yep, cool. Then Jeremy doesn't need to make it. Then we move on to uh, Rakesh with his willpower of three. He recovers one strain. Leaving him on one strain and five wounds. And they're the only people who had strain left. Okay, so how does the regeneration work? Um, regeneration works with long rest. James. So you so make natural rest. And, yeah. And you can regrow lost limbs still. Yeah. Which means that cyberware is not so good for you. Well, I wouldn't want to get cyberware anyway. No. Max oh, looks. No. So Max looks the guys over and goes, uh, "Poor buggers. Uh, looks like they've been dosed up with uh, uh, pugnacine beta." Yeah, and I think I saw these guys earlier and uh, talking about, uh, they mentioned Hernandez, so I'm guessing that he sent them. Well, if he did, he basically sent them to die. Well, against Dark, obviously. He says that uh, they don't feel fatigue um, or uh, mental damage. Uh, they don't feel pain. Uh, and uh, don't uh, suffer from uh, wounds that would uh, slow anyone else down. So and that the main way to stop them was to take their head off. Mainly, and he, he also says that uh, when the drug wears off, uh, most people die. So, yeah. but he does not know what caused the red glowing eyes because none of them have cyber eyes. Maybe it's a different version. Uh, there, there's no drug that will make your eyes glow, he says. Might make the world glow through your eyes, but... Make your eyes physically glow? He says that. That's probably some magic um, uh, shit all the way up there. That should be your department, he says. So is he an index guy magic? He doesn't know. Maybe they, they have um, a mage helping them. Uh, Dan's going to look across at Maria and say, Menendez makes it? She says, no, j j just slimy. Just slimy? Slimy. Oh, slimy. Yeah. <laughs> uh. uh. Uh, 
So these guys came in the back door. Has there been much indication of anything out the front? Uh, people be hearing disturbances or anything? Uh, not over the sound of the music. Okay, cool. So, so it's really quiet still. So, um, okay, you you have um, a, an orc that Flogger remembers from the door coming down the hallway, saying, uh, "What a what a pile of oozing dreck! You said I'm a best buzz turbo, cause stars are shining all over the place, and the underworld not need no heat." Our front's too bright for your shadows, but backside's clean for now. Come on, what are you waiting for? Slot it and run. Uh, Jake will be saying, yep, we should be out of here. Come on, let's go. Yep, back exit. Okay. So, um, does anyone uh, go for Maria? No, uh, she runs with you. Okay. Okay. Jesus will certainly go and uh, help her uh, to run if she thinks. And um, Georgie conveniently while you leave. Sorry, David, you, you cut out a bit there. Sorry, Georgie. Georgie conveniently covers her while you leave. Right. Okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, as you're leaving, you do notice that um, uh, Max has fainted. Were well, we supposed to take him along as well? Uh, he's got he's paying the money. Okay, I'm carrying Max. Oh, that's all you. Fantastic. Okay, so you pick up the sack. Uh, it, yeah. It's probably one of the heaviest loads you've picked up. And that's saying something. So he probably had a heart attack by taking a couple of steps. And uh, uh, you, your friend, the bouncer, hands you all the guns you checked in. And weapons. Oh, okay. He basically doesn't want you going out the front. Well, not if, it, not, not if the, uh, the, the cops are out there. Seems like a long way to go. Especially trying to carry an unconscious person. And Maria. Okay. So Maria says, uh, you, you lead, I follow. Uh, well, initially, uh, Jason's just going to be aiming to put some distance between uh, the, uh, the club and us. Mm -hmm. so, uh, as I said, he, he, uh, he knows CL. So he's just yeah. thinking about, okay, where's the best places to uh, at least get away from the, 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 the cops initially and also uh, any other uh, hitmen that might be coming through. So, uh, so Maria, um, much to... Um, uh, well, Bolt's uh, interest has gone from being the uh, Amazonian um, death machine back to the um, uh, really scared looking little girl. That's right. Dave's from Fair to Comforter. Or in fact, actually, George could be Comforter. Does it have to do with her augmentation, maybe? Does she have any? Give her the gun, like, swooped off to her hand. She appears to be mostly chrome. Um, Georgie is involved. <laughs> she she is cybered up so much so that um, you probably say maybe twenty percent of her is not cyber. Wow. Which twenty percent? <laughs> uh, her brain. It doesn't matter. It's a hundred percent beautiful. <laughs> Okay. Why do I see that as a um, quote from Fifth Element? <laughs> she is perfect. Yeah. 
So as, as you're outside um, on the street, what do you want to do? Just take. Okay, Desmond, where to? Take the wheels. He's getting cover, so. Yeah. yeah. But, but yes, we, we didn't drive, drive here. Do, do, we, do we know where she lives? No, no one, one knows, knows where, where she, she lives. lives. She's, She's a mega star. star. Anyone who knew where she lived, it would probably be um, ransacked within the hour. That's right. Okay. She needs to have a... Um, or something. Where she want to go? Let me take you to the uh, she, she's looking very startled and um, uh, not, not speaking clearly and stuttering a lot. She's uh, very uh, thrown out by events. Right, so you still have an egg to make me schizophrenic and it's not used. So, okay. Uh, well, uh, if we can get the egg alive, that would be fantastic. But where do we need to get you now? Where do we need to go? Max sort of uh, wakes up and says, um, well, we can put an end to this if you just get rid of that Hernandez guy. No, no Johnson, no job. Yeah, but, but that, that's, that's, the, uh, that's the future right now. We're just going to find a place to lay low, actually. Just, well, well the best defense is a good defense. Am I right? Um, isn't there a, a, some kind of rule to go after Johnson? So we had two people going there. We'll go with Ross first. What did you say, Ross? There is some type of unwritten rule that not to go after Johnsons. Only your Johnson. You go after the bad guy, Johnson. And what was David saying? And what was David saying? Uh, Georgie just threatened him about saying, am I right? Something on the lines of, yeah, unless you want to count the fingers that you haven't got. You won't say am I right ever again. Okay, uh, Georgie gets a f uh, phone call. Swear to God, if somebody asks me am I right on the phone. I'm am I right? right. <laughs> Georgie answers the phone. He hears a um, uh, computer generated voice um, that he remembers from his, um, his main contact saying, geez, you guys are uh, hot. Word is out on the street. Someone is willing to pop 10K for info on you and the people you're with. Better go, go to ground, um, Chama, because you're big time biz right now. Uh, dot, 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 and then says, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> which, which has far more humor in it than most computer generated voices do. George is fighting against the wall, smashes. And you think you've just done what you needed to do because, hey, you're trackable by those phones. Yeah, 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 yeah. And most likely uh, you are on, on speaker. Like, look, you get that on the last year. Okay, so we have to ditch our phones. <laughs> no, not really. Just don't answer it if it's a bloody computer talking to you. You can also pull out the well, battery. Maybe you do answer. Pulling out the ba battery is safer than turning it off. Okay. Uh, but that would be well, a technical we'll check. So we'll make a mechanics roll to see how well. Um, uh, that's uh, two yeah. Okay, so uh, I, I believe um, Womp uh, snaps his phone to uh, get the battery out. I got the battery out. And let's see how well. Um... Raskin should be able to figure this one out. Raskin actually does have medicine, by the way. Raskin can't figure out how to get the battery out. Uh, Rakesh can't figure out how to get the battery out. Apparently, um, it it's it's a sealed unit. Uh, you got an iPhone. Or a Pixel, or something like that. Yeah. You got a yuppie phone. 
So does Bolt try to turn turn off or shut down their um, uh, smartphone? <laughs> Hello, Josh and M. Are you back? Yes, we're back. Uh, do you guys try to turn off your smartphones, having been told that you're being um, people are offering ten thousand credits just to find out where you are? Yes. I'm not sure how much success I'll have because I'm done with bricks. Okay, um, apparently you bite your phone to make sure it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> yep. So Chitoy. Chitoy. And what about Flogger? Does Flogger try to do something special with his? Um, uh, yeah. Okay, Flogger um, shows everyone just how small a phone he can make with his fist. <laughs> Yay. So, uh, amongst all of you, I believe Desrin's the only one with a working phone. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah, uh, Raskin, uh, uh, Rakesh hasn't figured out how to turn his off yet, so you've got two people with a working phone. Desrin will uh, grab it off him and shut it down. <laughs> so, what are you telling me is that. Out of anger, Georgie threw his phone into the wall, and then most of the party crushed it onto his hands. Okay, Desra manages to shut down his and uh, Rakesh's phone as everyone else destroys their phone in, uh, you know, team loyalty with Georgie. Uh, okay, and we're in the middle of downtown at the moment, aren't we? You are. And then you see a sign saying, call for a taxi. Uh, a taxi would get you out of trouble very quickly. Yeah. Um, and... I was going to say, how difficult it is it to actually, uh, effectively, effectively hot -wise steal, steal a vehicle? vehicle. Fairly good, depending on your mechanics and your um, hacking ability. Georgie asked the random bystander if he could borrow their phone. Okay, so there goes Maria. Sure. Uh, can, can, you take, can you take a photo of us together? Um, she says as she um, uh, holds the phone out to you and tries to, um, you know, get up right next to Maria. Yeah, yeah, she can stand there and give us your phone. Georgie orders a while he's taking a photo, he orders a pretend to take a photo, he orders a taxi. Okay. Uh, taxis, ETA is uh, two minutes, and uh, we'll, we'll find you by your phone, it says. Alright, mate, hang on. She, she, she wants to say we've got to get a good photo. It's part, part of the contract, you know? So you just stand here, mate, and we'll take your photos, right? Okay, Georgie is doing so well on his social skills. I'm going to give him a, a cutting check to see how well he can maintain it. They are absolutely loving it, doing everything you tell them to do. Georgie doesn't take a single photo. You do notice that in, in the entire exchange, Maria barely moves. Yep. Then the taxi shows up. All right, mate. Here you go. Here's your phone. Hang, hang on. Oh, wait. Hang on. Let me, let me just check. One more. One more. One more. He takes a photo, and then Jeff is the one to get the taxi. You, you do realize that the um, phone is what's paying for the trip. If you leave the phone behind, the taxi doesn't go. Yeah. You get everyone into the taxi. Yeah, he's coming with us. No, it was a she, wasn't she. it? She. Whatever, don't get it, she's coming with us. Okay. We go to the after party. You want to come? She's completely smitten and basically jumps into the taxi with you. But be aware, my colleague here has to hold on to your phone because we can't let you invite anyone else. She doesn't care, she's just squealing in uh, happiness. You know that uh, fangirl squeal that really drives like a nail through the forehead? You mean what kind of what Gekun did when 
Who are you first time in? Yeah. Georgie is considering the merits of knocking this woman unconscious. <laughs> And so yes, uh, you get so, into. Does the taxi have a uh, have an actual driver, or is it an auto taxi? It is an auto taxi. Oh, it's trying to recall three. We're in so much trouble. Recall, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. And it, and it starts heading off. Uh, Max says, uh, "So, uh, where are we having this after party? Where, where do you, you recommend?" recommend? Right. So we're at a Johnny Cab. A, jo a Johnny cab without the physical Johnny. Yeah. George got the untrashable uh, taxi for you guys. Where are we going? Uh, As you see the taxi pull past the uh, police cordon. Yeah. At this stage, we're just uh, driving for a bit. Uh, we'll head out towards... Uh, now we actually did it in red and or in good yellow? Uh, you're currently in um, the city centre with Underground 98. Yeah, no, 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 I'm telling you, um, we live in the Barrens, but is it the Blue Yellow Barrens or the Redmond Barrens? The Redmond Barrens. The, the, the yeah, less toxic Barrens. So we'll start the taxi going towards Bellevue mm -hmm. on the idea that that actually, that, that actually waters uh, the Redmond Barrens. Um, and uh, at this stage, more case of just uh, driving for a bit to, uh, to, to okay. so, so the idea is if the taxi needs a destination, we'll give it one in, in uh, Bellevue, but the, uh, as we start to approach that, it will, we'll give a new destination instead and just keep going around for a little bit, at least initially. Okay, there's no problems racking up. The person has enough credit to pay for it. So, uh, and, yeah, okay. So, uh, if anyone in the actually, because I'm assuming no one's got actually a base that we could secure ourselves. Well, technically we've got a basement, but it's not all that secure. Well, people don't know where it is. Although it's certainly not going to be a place they know, it looks like Maria. <laughs> Keep in mind we have all the money in the world right now. Martin. Yep. Yeah. Roger comes up with an idea. He's going to um He's going to ask the taxi cab to get to a destination which is not well known, but the audience is a local training club. Okay, uh, you tell the taxi cab to do something and it doesn't respond. Georgie hands you the phone. Oh. I'm going to throw the phone out, out of the window. Which seems like the best solution. No. What? Uh, if you go to touch the phone, Georgie will hit it. Um. Well, well, I don't know if there's any particular reason you want to be tracked by these guys. No, no. Uh, it's a random civilian's phone who doesn't know, who has no association with anybody or anything. And if the phone goes out the window, the taxi stops. That's the whole reason why we still have this idiot with us. Um, oh. Flogger. Okay. Flogger. Attempts to, attempts to type in the address of his. Yeah. yeah. Logo. So as, as Flogger touches the phone, you, you hear something like um, five or six different button presses with each finger push. Yeah. Flogger, give me your phone. Give me your finger. All demoralized, you just hand like some of the skinny fingers of the phone. <laughs> hey, there is a reason why trolls go bigger um, and say bigger is better. Yep. Yeah. When your uh, finger is bigger than the phone the itself. It's also the fact that Dexter saw Flogger handle a phone just recently. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at the phone, the phone is slightly cracked now. <laughs> but it's still workable. Uh, 
Okay. Um, it does have um, the home button on the uh, map app. No, I don't think we're going to go home to where this woman lives because she might have some friends that might to, it would be hard to keep away from to, to, to keep away from getting to Maria. So, um, well, it could be a crazy cat lady. Yeah, I'll be here with Wicked for scale. And while you're doing all this, you do notice that she hasn't noticed a thing because Maria had pulled out a box she grabbed on the way out of her uh, um, room when you were heading out the back and currently has a pair of headsets plugged in which he's also given to the uh, fangirl cool. and he's currently playing music on what appears to be a portable keyboard hey she, she's getting good value for the rack, for the, the, uh, the money we're racking up on this taxi deal <laughs> we're just doing circles as we change to the destination like seven times <laughs> Um, uh, so what is the home address anyway? It might be somewhere noise. The home no, address... That's not where we're going. going. The, the home address is part of um, the As Technology um, um, Mega Corporation's um, uh, slums right next to their pyramid. The Arcology, right next to the Arcology. Yeah, that's a hard pass. <laughs> um, <laughs> Declan's going to uh, make a booking at a, at like, a like an Airbnb equivalent, mm -hmm. find a decent place. Uh, you you uh, find a, a place on at... the borders between Bellevue and uh, Redmond. Um, and obviously on the Bellevue side of it. Um, the... And yeah, basically he's looking for a spot that we can actually rent for the next week and uh, hold up at this stage. Okay, you managed, to, you managed to find a, a, a dive rented out by the property group Goldie Locked. Uh, apparently they have a slogan about we can find a better place than three bears. Did you say dive? Yep, a dive. Um, any, anywhere in that area is, is, is if it's um, already rented, is generally uh, better. But the things that are left um, available to take sight unseen are generally not that fantastic. Hey, money fixes those problems, though. It does. Yep, yeah, I mean, you'll need your phone, won't you? Sorry? You'll need your phone to pay for it, won't you? You will. Yeah, but I haven't forgot my phone. Well, well, we need, need to, to, we need to, to, to trip on the no, like, whether, whether or not leak any funds up front, you know, it's but... Uh, look, looking at it, you could probably um, uh, get it for about a thousand up front. <laughs> and... What so, well, well, you see? Uh... Well, I'll certainly aim to pay it from hers if I can, but the, I was looking for a place that was not necessarily a dive, but like a, a reasonable uh, location. But if there's nothing available, and that's it, I'll take what's there. Okay, so uh, this one has no bordering, no shared walls. It has a garage. And it has um, what appears to be a basement and um, uh, four bedrooms. That sounds like a uh, favorite. favorite. And for a thousand up front and going for um, 500 a week, it's not that bad. Yep, okay. okay. Uh, Desmond, uh, uh, uh don't need the phone, but Desmond can slot one of the credit sticks that we've got we've been throwing around this today. Yeah. Did, um, did Max actually have any credit sticks amongst his stuff? Uh, he did. Um, that's basically uh, his payment to pay you once you um, finish the run, once you finish the five days. Okay. Now, 
I, I, I was more the idea of if, 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 if Max had a paid expenditure for ready, that would have been some smaller denomination to work with. I'm happy to take one of the ones that was the. Is it, whatever the smaller one was just being collected, I'll, I'll slot that to pay for the. the 45,000? Is your smallest? Yep. Yep. Fair enough. Okay. It'll, it'll mean that we're definitely obviously considered good for the rest of it, you say? Uh, and you can happy, do that. I'm happy to pay the deposit and we'll leave before I pay the rest. And you can do that at the front door, which will then allow you to put in your own key code to get in. Okay. And when it's due, um, you just have to slot it again. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's fairly um, cheap way of um, managing it. Between us and you're like, you try not to be the one to get back when uh, whenever it's due. So, yes. Um, uh, so, you, you know, after uh, seven days of pass, you'll have to slot a credit stick again to pay another 500 credits. You can pay more if you wish to. The, okay, yeah, so 500 for a week, was it? 500 for a week with 1,000 that has to be paid on top of um, any uh, weekly rental. So, it's 1,000 up front, and then after a week, you have to pay another 500 to keep access to the property, or you can pay more up front to... Uh, have it longer term. I'm, I'm happy. We'll, we'll go for a thousand up front for a week. Mm -hmm. uh, and how uh, uh, yeah. are we holding on to Fangirl at the moment? Uh, yeah, yeah, until we get to the house, yeah. Well, I'm also thinking of a keeper in the keeper in the building too, because that way she's the only other one that knows exactly where Maria is right now. So. Though she's also so, due, uh, she's also due at uh, work in a couple of hours. Sorry, what was that? Uh, the phone that you um, had looked at shows that she has a meeting in a couple of hours at As Technology. Uh, so. Okay, well, we'll get, in, we'll get into the house mm -hmm. and then give her the offer of hey, do I hang out here for a week? No, uh, she says uh, she, she can't, she'd love to, she'd really love to, but uh, she's got to get in, into work in the morning. Which word what to you? Says, well, meeting. <laughs> You know you want to. Is it is it it's a bit harder? I I haven't actually got the job yet. It's the uh, sign up day. Hey, I'll have another one next week. You ever gonna get a chance to spend a week with Maria? No, this is fine. We we can. Uh, I'll I'll escort her back to her job. We'll just uh, we'll get out of we'll get out of this and. Just walk the rest of the distance, and um, I'll take her back to the lab. Okay. All good. Um, basically, yeah. If you guys, if we don't take her, if we don't take her to where we're actually staying, then she doesn't know where she's Okay, so they drop the rest of you off before you get to the house, and Georgie takes her back to where she's staying. Uh, uh, yeah, so you get to see a couple of laws away. Um, can we give her any money? Yeah, we give money all the way. We just spent a lot of her money, but I don't think we gave her anything. You didn't give her anything, no. Yeah, Georgie, Georgie will quickly go through the phone and see how much has been spent on the taxi ride and everything else, and double whatever, whatever it is that it is. Okay, you spent about 145 credits. Sorry, by double, I mean he'll give uh, he'll give uh, 300 credits. I'm disappointed, David. Why? I was hoping that 
uh, Georgie was taking away to eliminate any witnesses. Yeah, look, if this was Bella, she'd be dead already. <laughs> She gives um, Georgia a hug and says, um, you, you look just like my um, um, uh, girlfriend's partner, um, uh, uh, who's Charles. It gives you a kiss on the cheek as you, uh, and then uh, takes off. Uh, sorry? Uh, she says to Georgie, you look just like my girlfriend's partner, Charles. Bye bye. <laughs> You've got other clones still out there. <laughs> so yes, uh, you, you send her on the way with that um, last um, cryptic remark. <coughs> I'm sure that has nothing to do with your clones, I'm sure completely. And you make it back to the house as the others are settling in. As we're now past um, 10 o'clock, I will um, unfortunately have to call it a night for tonight. I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm tired. All good. Yeah. But you have managed to successfully yeah. keep Maria alive for one of the uh, five days and definitely earned uh, your first thousand. Yay. Which we just gave most of that back to our rent. Well, rent and probably the next day is into that person for keeping quiet. <laughs> well, that that is one thousand each, not one thousand total. Yeah. So we, we have made a profit on the day. And yes, yeah, so and now we've got the opportunity to actually spend time to think what the plan is. So. Okay, okay, so but, yeah, thanks very much, Mark. Thanks all. Yeah, have a good time. And, and your characters are now on the run with a media celebrity. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Well, all right. But, but not one that apparently is uh, expecting living the high life way she's acting so far. So. Um. Now we scheduled for Friday as well. Uh, this Friday is Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, I won't okay. be able to make it because I'll okay. break it. Sorry about I that, Ross. I'll catch you guys next Tuesday then. Yep. Or Wednesday. Or Friday. Here we go. <laughs> the next Shadow Run game. Yep. Good night. Good night. I'll put it under end credits.